And now, your first alert forecast. Well, we're tracking some pretty active storms in our area as we take a look at First Alert Viper radar here. Now, this is the big picture. You see this band all throughout Wyoming, Montana, and dropping back into our area. But for our viewing area, big point right now is right over Victor, where we do have a severe thunderstorm warning until 6 p.m. We are looking at that uh, thunderstorm moving off to the northeast. Has dropped some pretty good hail along with that. Plenty of lightning strikes, as you see, into the 60s in the last half hour here. Gusty winds up to 60 miles an hour. That is continuing to move forward here. We've had a Few severe thunderstorm warnings throughout the evening. We could see a few more. Right now, that's our most active spot. Taking a live look at Pocatello from our Farm Bureau Sky Cam. A bit cloudy, 74 degrees. Winds are fairly light, so we are seeing some pretty comfortable conditions. Maybe a little muggy even into the Snake River Plain, but it's those eastern highlands that's picking up those thunderstorms at this hour. As we move forward on our Viper Cast, 10 p.m. this evening, still do see some scattered thunder showers favoring the high country as they like to do here. Pretty typical weather pattern for early summer, where we do see these scattered thunder showers. And these warmer temperatures, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Most of that activity will stay to the north of us into Montana. They've really gotten hit with that lightning today all throughout the state. Well, we're sitting pretty good for tomorrow morning. Now, moving into tomorrow afternoon, the upper highlands right over Fremont County, we saw all of that activity dipping into Jackson. And it could happen all throughout the region, but we're really going to favor the upper valley and upper highlands for our thunder shower activity for tomorrow evening. As we roll into Monday, Monday, we catch a break. Monday's looking pretty good. So, 8 a.m., the Viper cast is. Totally boring, and we'll roll forward just a couple of hours on Monday to see things look pretty nice. Now, come Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll bring those storms back into play. Overnight tonight, 43 for Chalice, 35 into Stanley. We're seeing those mid 40s into the upper valley, right around freezing for West Yellowstone. As we head down the Snake River Plain, look for those temperatures into the upper 40s overnight tonight, 45 for Lava. Southeastern Highlands, we're seeing plenty of mid 40s, and Western Wyoming, a couple of upper 30s. Now, tomorrow's daytime highs, actually a little cooler than today, and that warm air from today and that cool air from tomorrow, giving us that unsettled weather that's just the right recipe for some thunder showers to pop in. 74 for American Falls and Pocatello. Now, we've seen the 80s for most of this last week, but this is actually where we should be. 71 in Idaho Falls would be the seasonal average for late May. 72 for Chalice tomorrow and 64 into Stanley. Coming up the next eight days, thunder showers a possibility tomorrow, along with those showers, gusty winds. Though when they aren't overhead, we should keep our winds still 10 to 15 miles an hour, still a bit breezy. Easy. Idaho Falls, Monday looking pretty good, close to 80 with plenty of sunshine. Tuesday's the warmest day this week. We can look for the 80s pretty much across the board. But Pocatello at 74 tomorrow, 47 the overnight low. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's when we're looking for the next round of thunder showers to come our way. And there is a slight chance of continuing it into the weekend, but right now we're going to leave it off because things are looking fairly clear as we move forward in the eight day. Rexburg at 69 tomorrow, 39 the overnight low. Then we'll go back into the 70s for the rest of the week. For Blackfoot, we're looking for those low 70s tomorrow, then upper 70s, even 80s. Again, thunder showers a possibility tomorrow. Monday, we'll catch a break to start off our work week. And for Jackson, a little better chance of seeing those thunder showers. We saw that on the Viper cast, 40% chance, 65 the high for tomorrow. And do keep in mind, we still have that severe thunderstorm storm warning for Teton County, Idaho. We'll continue to track that throughout the evening.